right, but time now for a full check of the forecast with Stephen Kilbreth. We were just talking about Leavenworth. Right. How it's it's a mess up there. I mean, mm -hmm. the mayor saying that there's kind of a disaster situation going on, and we can see tons of snow still. I know it's very pretty though. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous Keeping for us that up. are not stuck there. <laughs> That's yeah, I, for I sure. actually, uh, uh, you know, was scrolling through TikTok where mm -hmm. where you go for like ten minutes yeah. and then you realize it's been seven hours. Yes, but, no, exactly. I do that all the time. But there was some people from Leavenworth that got stuck there. They went there and they just were gonna like have a little vacation. And, and now stuff. they've been but there for days. But they're not even days. from the area. Like oh, they, wow. they flew in from somewhere out of state or something like that. But oh my goodness. But yeah, no, I mean it's a beautiful, beautiful spot. But I mean the services and all that kind yeah. of stuff. That's uh, certainly been a problem. And I know we both uh, live in this. Snoqualmie Valley, so there's yep. a lot of photos out there too of uh, flooding and water and all the mm -hmm. creeks and things like that. So, uh, yeah, keep water those everywhere. photos coming in. Water <laughs> yes. everywhere. But today will be a dry day. Right now in Seattle, it's looking pretty nice. You can see uh, the mountain here and the stadiums and clear skies and uh, getting ready for our sunrise a little bit later on as well. So, it's not too bad of a start to the day. Right now, 35 degrees, winds out of the northeast around seven miles an hour. And our current temperatures throughout the region 32 in Darrington, 36 in Silverdale, 32 in Ferndale. So, still below freezing in some places like Whatcom County. Uh, today's forecast though, mostly clear in 35 now, partly sunny in 41 by noon, and then mostly sunny and 44 by 4 o'clock this afternoon. That's going to be nice. The next 12 hours in Mount Vernon, sunshine here, and you could see going to be into the mid 40s there as well. Here's the next 12 hours in Chehalis. We have some clouds now, but should burn off and be a pretty nice day there with your uh, temperatures topping out into the upper 40s. The next five days look like this. You can see temperatures going to be in the low uh, low 50s as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. Now these are going to be pretty wet days as well. Monday we're going to see some rain early on. We'll show you that in just a second here with our future cast. Seahawks today, they're playing in Arizona down in Phoenix. Mostly sunny, calm winds. Temperatures there are going to be a very nice 68 to 73 degrees for that game. Last game of the season. Your almanac yesterday we did hit 45 degrees. The average high is 47. Our record back in 1953 when it hit 54 degrees. Now the big picture here is is our satellite images and you can see where we are here clear skies nothing much happening in the way of uh, showers or even clouds but our future cast is going to show you when we're going to see that rain move back in again by 5 30 this afternoon still pretty clear skies right there and then you can see overnight into tomorrow morning by 5 a.m some showers on the coast then it does move back through could be a wet morning commute and then off and on showers throughout the day as you can see for the rest of the day and then some heavy rain comes in uh, late in the night tomorrow Tomorrow as we head into uh, Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Now our extended forecast looks like this. Mostly sunny today. Some spots could see some fog early on today and a high of 47. A rain in the morning. Showers later on Monday and a high of 44. Then you can see we're in the low 50s with rain at times Tuesday and Wednesday. Looks like as we head into the later part of next week, Friday should be a partly sunny day and then just a few showers as we head into the weekend. I believe next weekend. I think it is. Yes, next weekend is the Martin Luther King Jr. Holiday weekend.